Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. Just about 14 minutes before 7 o'clock. And we are still in Tobago because it is Tobago Thursdays here on the Now Morning Show. And this morning, uh, we have another great experience that you guys know about coming up soon in Tobago. I want to welcome the chairman of the Little Great River Coco Experience Committee, Tamika Seals Manzano. She joins us via Zoom. Good morning, Tamika. Good morning to you, DJ Rockers, and to our listening and viewing public. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. Now tell me, the, the Lower Great River Cocoa Experience, what is this all about? Well, we, we recognize in Tobago that we cannot afford to lose our cultural and agricultural heritage, right? And the Pembroke area is full of culture, right? So this is a way, the Lower Great River Cocoa Experience consists of a range of experiential activities based on our group arrangement. So we are looking at preserving our heritage, nodding to our French ties, that's where the name Le comes from, mm. um, creating productive ties to drive the industry forward, recognizing, of course, that cocoa production is no longer just based on selling the beans, but rather on value addition. So we are going to be incorporating cuisine, culture, and agroecological experiences and activities to present cocoa in a dynamic an attractive way. So it's going to be really epic. And you said it's in Pembroke? Sorry? Is it? You said it's in Pembroke? That's what you said earlier? I, right, I, so it's in the Pembroke Goldsboro area. Right. It's actually at Cow Farm Road. It will be taking place on the 18th of October. Now, right. this is our phase one of the project, right? So this is really a pilot, our pilot project. So it is by invitation only. Oh. But very soon, it will be offered by a pre-booking arrangement where you two can book your own experience and build your experience. So it's going okay. to be a matter of the participants will get the opportunity to visit the estate, um, get a cocoa tour. They're also going to be able to visit one of the two waterfalls in the area. There's going to be a concession shop at the Pembroke Heritage Park. I'm going to have cultural items there as well as items based on cocoa production, novel cocoa products. Mm -hmm. So you'll get a chance to do some cocoa tasting, seeing how you, you can demonstrate um, chocolate making, making cocoa balls, that kind of thing. Of course, you yeah. have the farmers in the area being active active there. So they're mm -hmm. going to get the opportunity to, to show their produce and you have an opportunity to purchase items, your cocoa liqueurs, cocoa rum, you know, other other local products, taco products that are going to be there. And we have some new novel waffle mixes, breadfruit mixes. There's, it's, it's going to be great. Now, this is very interesting because I, I first thought it was just going to be like a, a one-off event. I didn't realize it was the pilot for something that is going to be a consistent experience that people can have. They can, they, it's like almost like a, a cocoa tour, basically. Yes, yes. But so much more than right just a tour. It's, just, it's much more than just a cocoa tour. Yeah. So, I mean, I know that Trinidad has cocoa tours, but this is new for Trinidad and Tobago. It's incorporating agro-tourism. It's incorporating culture. It's incorporating agritainment, you know? Okay. Um, agri-recreation. I, so I know a, you said this first, one, this first one is by invitation only, but in, in general, how, how much do you anticipate this would cost somebody? Like, if I wanted to come across and say, you know, have this experience, what's the price I would pay? Well, what what is being developed would be a range of packages. Yes. Right. So if you want to have a tour, you want to do team building exercise, you want to just um, work on your mental and, 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 and health in general, mm -hmm. you have this opportunity. So we're going to have a range of packages. The packages would be starting at 250. You'll have um, individual packages as well as group rates. So, you know, of course, group rates would be a little more economical. Right. We're looking at groups to stay within a certain range of 25 because, you know, there's safety in numbers, but we can't go too, too wide because right. you'll lose some aspects of the experience and you get to build your own package. So you wouldn't be doing every, every, everything on um, that is on offer, but you build your package to suit your pocket. Nice. I like that. I really, really like that. How does the, the community, I mean, I know you mentioned that we'd have things on sale and the, the agro sector would be a part of it as well, but the direct community of Pembroke also benefits from this experience, yeah? 
Yes, of course. It's, it's hope that uh, um, income generation will be fostered. Persons will begin to, to um, develop new products that they can market as we go as the project goes on. Nice. Um, we have already the Pembroke Village Council being an active participant in in the exercise. They will be offering cultural items and sale. They are we are hoping that the dirt oven will be up and they will be able to bake bread from that dirt oven. So you get that different taste, you know, from as opposed to you know your kiss bread and you. Know, homemade big, big bread in the oven. This is an entirely different taste. Yeah. So we're exposing the, 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 the villagers, the farmers in the area to an opportunity. Yeah? And right. building community. Okay, so uh, you mentioned also as well just now that the, this is the first phase of the project. What What yes. is the next phase after this and how many phases are there to the project? Well, essentially there are two phases. This okay. first phase, the launch, um, where we, we it's by, well, of course, it's by invitation only, but from that, we're going to be getting feedback. And from that honest feedback, we can work to improve the product so that we can offer it. And, and it would be soon after because we're looking at um, peak season. We have carnival. Yeah. Now we have carnival in October. Um, we have World Food Day. That, that would be the two days after this mm -hmm. current event. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have like um, Easter. July, August vacation, we have weekends, persons can <laughs> access this uh, this particular event. And I definitely uh, think that it can, Once they pre-book, the, the important thing is that you know that you have to pre-book so you get your tickets. Yeah. Um, you might be interested in, in, in a jersey, in booking a jersey for the event, you know, you want to look special as a group, that kind I, of thing. I'm interested to know if the if the, the tourism operators, the hotels and those sort of things, have they been able to buy into this to say, all right, well, we'll tell people if they come to stay in our hotel, these this is an option of a, of an experience that they can book. Right. So that is that's one of the reasons we developed this product. Hmm. We 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 need to showcase different aspects of Tobago. Yes, we have all beaches. Yeah. So it's not just about just coming and relax. We have the carnival, yes, but we have different demographics of persons, persons who are yep. interested in culture, who are interested in history, who are interested in hiking, right? And those kind of recreational activities. So this is something that um, we can put on our calendar of events so that we can offer to the wider international community, to our regional partners, you know, our regional our other islands, our counterparts in the Caribbean, and of course, right here at home in Trinidad and Tobago, you're always welcome. Definitely. I want to thank you so much for taking this initiative and for, for having this experience. And I also look forward to my invitation showing up at some time for this one on the 18th, right? Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> thank you so much, Tamika. Enjoy the rest of the okay, day. Okay, thanks so much again. All right, take care. I that is Tamika Seals Manzano. She is the chairman of the Little Great River Cocoa Experience Committee. And they're having the, the phase one, which is the launch on the 18th of October, just right before World Food Day. And of course, this experience is going to be a brand new one for Tobago. And she's saying for Trinidad and Tobago, you can tailor the packages, you can have a, a great time. And I expect that the next phase will come on board quickly and we will have all that information for you. But in the meantime, let's take a break and come back with your birthdays on the Now Morning Show. Stay tuned.